Hello, my wonderful shiny friends. How are you today? I wanted to share something with you. The other day, oh, I was pulling in somewhere. Yeah, we're gonna make I it used my blinker. <laughs> But now that I sit here and describe all of this to you, I'm pretty sure it was um, the fuel filter. Stories can be heavy hearted, unsure, crying at a red light for what you think as no reason. Stories that leave you sitting around tables talking about everything but the story. Life goes on. Simply all his. Stories help a new look for the beauty to pick up the pieces. Thinking you have it all together. Thinking you know out of your own experiences. You just don't. Which helped the person that was trying to pull out who had been sitting there for a very long time to know that I was turning and then they could go ahead and prepare to pull out. So I had that thought process of like helping the person around me. What are we doing ahead of time to help others? Or even help ourselves, mainly others because that's what we're here for, to serve others. So I went a little further in a deep Damn. thought process of how can I share such a message for a deeper impact? So I began to think about overhearing a conversation my I'll husband my was door. having the other day with someone and this particular person was asking him about a car repair. Why do cars do something? It had something to do with some particular mechanism on the vehicle. Sorry, I didn't hear that part of what uh, he was actually asking about. We were sitting in church just before worship service started. But anyway, so he was asking him about the vehicle. And so I did hear my husband's response, and it was two things. Either leaving the car running while pumping gas or running the car low in fuel. Well, when you run a car low of fuel, it has trash down in the bottom and it affects this particular mechanism. So the two things was leaving the car running and letting the car get low of fuel tears up this particular thing. So those were my deep thoughts between those two. Putting our blinkers on ahead of time to let others know to prepare, basically helping them out. Then not to run our cars low of gas and not leaving it running while we pump it. You think, what does that even have to do with helping someone else? You think about it. Who's in charge of your car? Is it your work car, fleet car, personal car? You could potentially be helping your family by not being down the vehicle or the person at your work who's in charge of the vehicle fleet, meaning they are responsible for all the broke down cars. One step ahead is a step ahead for another. You may think, well, I'm not going to inconvenience myself. That's their job. They don't have anything else to do. Trust me, they will have plenty to do. How many work positions do you know that only does one thing? So to take the thoughts even deeper, let's ask ourselves, who are we helping by doing our part? We get bummed because it doesn't sell. We get bummed because nobody will pick us up for the book deal, the music record label the recipes we created, or the projects we've sown, and beyond. But here's the thing. I've recently been cleaning out my grandfather's house, who is 95, 
In fact, if you missed the episode where I created the print making with keys, those keys came from my grandfather's house. What mama get? In the episode about mama the typewriter. Get the typewriter plants. came from my granddad's house. Let's get back to creating our art. So what if no one ever buys it? So what if, whatever reason, when we think about it being left behind years from now, the people who may come across it, whether it be in our home or we donated it or whatever, somebody someday is going to come across it and treasure it for this, this season of life that they're in. I just imagine my grandchild or my daughters needing artwork for their already home or to revamp their home or for a friend. I don't know if this is a turn like, eh, oh my goodness, I think, I think it was. I'm sorry, I was doing a voice memo on my notes while I dropped this out for y'all and literally just turned in a straight lane but we're back on track now, shh, don't tell anyone. But yeah, the deep thought is, who are we going to be helping one day down the road for the art we are creating right now? As each has received a gift, use it to serve one another as good stewards of God's varied grace. Whoever speaks as one who speaks oracles of God, whoever serves as one who serves by the strength that God supplies. In order that in everything God may be glorified through Jesus Christ, to him belong glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. 1 Peter 4, 10 through 11. Who are we helping right now for the storm down the road in their life or our own personal life? I often think we try to press on in life to be something bigger and better than we were as a child. I don't want that anymore. I want to go back to childlike ways of freedom, simplicity, memories, connecting. As a child, I'd sit on the couch with my bucket of art supplies, mainly markers, and a few pencils. Abstract as my main jam, then and now. I'd sit creating patiently, waiting for my dad to get home from work, and oftentimes even after dinner, my safety. For the first time last year, I heard my dad's voice while painting flowers for a baby shower. He let me know my father-in-law was okay. This is why I can't stop painting. At the end of May, one day before the end of May, to be exact, marked my dad's death 26 years. I didn't get you anything for Father's Day. No more. 26. I spent years, no more, years of grief, lack of understanding. The enemy doesn't have a hold on my soul no more. I put my foot down. I've grown so much as a person, spiritually, for sure. Through my heart, the Lord is faithful through it all. I saw a girl cling to her mom the other day. I said to myself, I know, baby girl. Do I ever know? Different story, different year, same God is He. He will see you through just as He has done for me. It is no surprise to me. I can see it from a mile away. Yes, you are left wondering about so much in life, but no more does the enemy have a grip on me. I sing in praises and victory for what the Lord has done for me. I used to cry out, how can it be? Now I see. I see you in heaven, Daddy. One more year. Boom. Equals 26. I'm free. And so are you. 
thankful for the life the Lord has provided for me to see. That's a good girl. I get to be me. This is my story of a fatherless girl. You aren't alone. You gonna help Mama carry some? Life storms come before one can get the pieces picked up and sorted out before the next storm comes. You can build your lane so strong and know you are supposed to be in it. Yet these life storms can pull your tender head of pigtails. It's appropriate to take action, but don't be surprised. Waiting for a storm to pass can be icky. We wait for his face. Don't make me pour my soul out. Look for his glory. One day you can tell all the stories. For today, look at the trees blow. At least it's not snowing. His nearness is what brings us out. To seek the beauty across his land. I want to see. See his wisdom in all I walk through. Mondays aren't fun because it reminds me of what's missing. The week, the weekend is a hiding place to pretend it didn't happen. I want to stay up late at night just to reflect on your goodness through the tunes of worship until I doze off. Waking up to the sound of chirping birds, I want to hear my dad again. I wish I could tell you how, but that's between you and the good Lord above. Build the bond, piece by piece. Wipe away the tears, yours will heal. All these people around, smothers your soul. Wipe away the tears, stand on it, claim it no more. No one else will ever understand or be able to fix it, don't wait. Victory is on its way, it's here and now, the sight, Sounds, smell, will remain. They will remind you the time, season, hour. One day they will be peaceful vapor of remembrance in the wind. A chuckle, a look, and others. Years from now will peep out. You will know and see what it's all about. Only you will understand because everyone else went on their merry way. They can't see. Don't wait on them. It's in the shadows of the dark. You can. You can see. Because light is around the corner. Don't sit too long and ponder. Stand up. Victory is on its way. No more grip on me. This is my story all day long. People often wonder why I'm so bold, brave, not afraid to speak up. Not the shy little girl anymore. Why I can turn the other cheek. Why some days and years I tear up. This is me. In his strength alone. So strong. So strong, nothing can back from me. No more.
All of us have stories we don't openly speak about. These stories may be current or ones we've already walked out. We don't share out of protection for various reasons, not only for ourselves, but others. Not because they are secrets or shameful, some stories aren't ours to share, and others just aren't meant to be told. These stories can be stories inside of other stories and even stories running parallel to new seasons in the prime of happy blessings. Hold on to what you have. Not everything is easy. But if you're persistent and keep working towards it, the outcome is surely to shine. Be grateful for what hasn't happened to you and thankful for what has. Not everyone knows and not everyone will listen. Last week's video, I shared with you the Untold Story series. I wanted to this week share with you an individual up from that series, Zipper Giver. If you watched last week, you probably recognize it, but I wanted just to take the time to feature it this week. Zipper Giver, the last one created in the series, the one I spent the longest amount of time on mainly because I ran from it for a few days. My mood shifted days after creating, as well as my daily task. Once I ventured outside the studio, I was able to regroup. In a sense, this one looks like it doesn't go with the series, but it's probably just me realizing the shift, detachment, baby of the bunch, last born, fantastic, fantastic freeing letting go. Created on cardboard inserts from a box of wine. Zipper giver, 11.5 by 10. Five and five of Untold Stories cardboard series. Acrylic paint, markers, colored pencils.
I adjusted my flower, uh, the potting soil, I messed up and evidently hit stop recording. So you didn't get to see me actually loading the stuff in the car and what I said to you.